So, uh, tell me a little bit about Lost Girl. Well, um, <laughs> Take it away, Anna. <laughs> sure. Lost Girl is a supernatural show, I grew up. Um, and it's based on around fairy folklore. Uh, we're, we're part of this fae world. And uh, the fae live amongst humans um, and secretly sort of feed off but most humans don't know that they exist. And the show begins with uh, my character, Bo, her journey from thinking that she's human to learning very early on in the show that she's actually not human, that she's fae. And, uh, and then her journey throughout this world and all the different characters she meets and all the different lovely characters she meets that color this world for her. And, um, and uh, it's Awesome. And the book. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so Chris. Sunday. What, a, what what part do you play here? I Fill us play in. One of the older big characters. So uh, I've never I was never a human. I was a poor human. Uh, and I've been around for a long time. And I mean both. A, an oddity in our society and that she's a fae who was raised by humans and doesn't know that she's fae. So, um, besides being absolutely gorgeous and charming and lovely, against my better judgment, I start to fall for her. Uh, and I become a bit of her protector, her friend, her lover. So how fun is this series? Because it sounds really cool. And I mean, I've seen the first episode. I mean, yeah, you guys really have a cool a cool show. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. We got really lucky. We had a great creative team who put together a, a fantastic idea. I mean, the, the, the ability to pull from the pay mythologies of all of our different cultures gives us a massive story base. Right. So, uh, besides it being a physical and really quite savvy show, uh, Well, and great effects. I mean, good effects, good story, good. I mean, it's a it's a complete package. And it's well timed, I would say. I mean, I think so too. Yeah, yeah. and yet different. Like it's not different. not yeah. what we've seen. Yeah. yeah. In the fake world, like Chris was saying too, it's so broad. I mean, there's so there's so many different places you can go with it, and every creature that you meet on the show is based in um, real folklore. Right. So, there's the mythology behind it. How fun is the character? Because it seems like a lot of. I mean, both your characters must be a lot of fun. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, it was really, it was really great. I mean, I love Bo. I love that she. You know, I love that she's so a little bit naive to this world, and so she gets to kind of learn about it. She's also extremely stubborn, so. Right. She makes the choices that are sometimes too detrimental. Awesome. What's the fun part of your character? What do you what do you revel in? Buddy, I got to train into a different creature. I'm old. I got to make love to the sun because all the time wasn't enough to enjoy. Nice. And it is, you know, it's a fairly edgy sexual show as well. I mean, it's kind of, I'd almost say new ground for Canada, maybe, for TV. I mean... I think so. I mean, I've never seen anything quite like it. No, there has been a Canadian production quite like this. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a big show with a lot of different sort of It's pulling from a lot of different areas. Yeah. And I really can't think of a Canadian show that even has ever and it's cool it's it's like new ground for you guys too because you really haven't done anything like this either which is kind of the show's strength because they've taken you know dramatic actors instead of going with maybe genre actors that's my perspective maybe you know <laughs> so what what are some of the great highlights that you can tell us about. 
Else you want to tell us about the show? Any any other little secrets you can look forward to? 12, 9 p.m. on showcase first episode. Tune in. Thank you guys. <laughs>